Jason. I'm here in the garage kind of tinkering around some things, um, getting ready for my upcoming hunt. Uh, we'll have some footage from out in the field in a little bit, but I uh, wanted to answer a few questions about some arrows and some arrow setup. Uh, basically, I was asked, Jason, how do you prep your arrows or how do you get them ready to be fletched? Well, a couple of things I do uh, is I always use the ASD arrow squaring device from G5. It's a great tool. Uh, it makes sure that your shafts are completely square, and that's really important. If your arrows are not consistently square, then you're going to have arrow flight problems. It's just it's just part of the uh, uh, part of the game. So make sure you use an ASD scoring device. I think there's a couple of manufacturers out there now. Um, but anyways, make sure that your uh, your ends of your shafts are square. That's super important. Also, um, on the video, I showed an arrow that had a wrap on it. I'm get, I got rid of the wraps, and um, and the reason I got rid of the wraps is the same reason I got rid of the lighted knocks. It's all about the FOC, okay? It's what we call front and center. Basically, how much weight you have up front on your arrow. Um, the whole concept is the higher your FOC, uh, within reason, the better your arrow will fly. And it makes sense. If you have a string, think of an arrow as a string, you can't push a string, right? So again, if you've got all your weight up in front, it's gonna steer your broadhead a little better. Okay, so those are just the physics behind it. You can't push a string, it's harder to push an arrow than to pull an arrow, okay? So it's a pretty good little tool. Make sure your FOC is, is pretty high. Um, anywhere from 10% to 15, 16%, play around with it. Um, some people like to go up higher than 20. It's up to you. Again, so uh, try to get as much arrow off, or weight off the back end of the arrow as possible. Um, again, it's not about chasing sexy, it's about chasing uh, arrow flight. So uh, make sure that you have a decent FOC. If you have to switch to a heavier broadhead, that's fine. But remember, the heavier your broadhead, it's going to impact your uh, spine uh, on, your, uh, on your arrows. So again, uh, we're going to head out to the field now. Uh, thanks for, for viewing. If you have any questions, go ahead and send me an email or PM me. Just get a hold of me. Uh, I don't want this thing to be about me. I want to get more people involved. So if you have any videos, send it to me. Uh, we'll edit it. We'll put it on the show. And uh, we'll see how things go. Once again, we're going to head out to the field. Take care and have a great day. Hey guys, it's Jason. Welcome back uh, to the New Mexico Sportsman. Uh, just running around the wilderness here, Jason tomorrow. Uh, live in Silver City, uh, spend a lot of time out in the mountains. Uh, today I'm running around looking for some sheds, checking trail cameras. Uh, I had some trail cameras up on this ridge uh, last, last winter. You guys may have noticed that uh, I found a buck called Jordan. He's a great big coos deer, uh, probably 110 plus. So he's a monster. So this year I'm really trying to put some time in to try to find him. Anyways, so that's what I'm doing today, just looking around, uh, trying to get some exercise. I have an upcoming bear hunt in Arizona, so I'm also trying to test some gear for that. Uh, I switched backpacks this year. Um, I switched from a Badlands and a Horde Hunter to an Osprey. An Osprey isn't a backpack that usually uh, you equate with hunting, uh, but I really like the pack. It's, it's light, it's fast, uh, it has everything I need. Anyways, so I'll give you guys some more information on that uh, later. Okay, so what's going on? So. Um, as far as legislative news or political news or any of that good stuff, uh, just a heads up, guys. Um, the the, the uh, ranchers that have leases, public leases, uh, they're really concerned about the bow hunters running around on that public land. So they've said several times that uh, they want to curtail bow hunting on public land. So just be aware of that. Uh, they fired a shot, a shot across the bow already, uh, so it may be our next fight if you're a bow hunter. Also, uh, that whole A-plus program is causing more drama for the Department of Game and Fish than uh, anybody can imagine. Uh, they're having public meetings in the Northeast and the Southeast uh, trying to clarify the rules. So, uh, again, just one more reason to go to an outright draw. And if hunters want to hunt pub private land, then uh, they should uh, uh, try to pay a trespass fee. Again, that whole A-plus thing is just causing all kinds of drama. Okay, so I'm out here running around. Um, covering country, testing out backpacks. So I found two sheds today. Uh, one is uh, an older chalky shed. Let me kind of show you that one. See, it's a nice little coos deer, Pope and Young, nothing too special. Okay, little Pope and Young coos deer, nothing good. So the next one uh, is a cool shed. Actually, I'm gonna show it to you guys and then I'm gonna stop the video and then I'm gonna take pictures of it. Because uh, he may look familiar. So here's this monster coos deer shed. It's a 4x4. Notice there's no brow tine on it. Okay. 
So that's a pretty good size Kuzlier shed. Notice that end of the end of the shed there on the main beam. That's real distinct. This might be Jordan. So again, Kuzlier shed. I'm gonna edit the video so uh, I can take some pictures. So uh, that's it. Uh, again, get out, enjoy the wilderness. Um, we're under phase two fire restrictions right now, so that means basically no fires. So be careful out there. We really need some rain. Um, it's gonna be a rough quail hatch this year because we haven't had the rain yet. So uh, just pray that uh, things don't get too out of hand. Um, also, um, keep watching the website, follow me on Facebook. Um, we'll have some updates on my bear hunt in Arizona. Hopefully that ends out uh, successful. Uh, I'm going six foot or nothing, so that's a big old bear. Anyways, uh, take care, and we'll talk to you soon.